It is a beautiful day in Miami, Florida. Very hot. And I am currently on my 25 minute daily walk that earns me about $200 a day. Let's talk about stepping. So in today's video, we're going to talk about this new revolutionary fitness app that basically pays you to go outside and either walk, jog, or run. People right now are earning anywhere between $40 per day to four, five, six hundred dollars per day. And this is all done by being outside and literally moving to earn. So in today's video, we're going to break down exactly what the Step In app is how it works and how this project could possibly be one of the biggest projects in the move to earn play to earn crypto space by the end of this year i will also let you guys know exactly what i'm doing right now that's making me currently over 200 dollars per day in just 25 minutes of walking so let's dive right in So I want to give a shout out to Ori Eldorov who wrote this amazing deep dive into exactly what Step In is and how it works. I'll be using this to make today's video. So what is Step In? At its core, Step In is a Web 3.0 move to earn fitness game. It is built on the Solana blockchain and users can earn daily income by either walking, jogging, or running. The game rewards its users with its native currency, which is the green Satoshi token. You can see that the value of the green Satoshi token at this moment is over five dollars so to give you guys an idea i'm currently making around 40 gst per 25 minutes so if you just put in here 40 times 5.41 and price has actually gone up as i've been creating this video you can see that that's 216 dollars per day now you do have to take some other things into account like repairing your shoes because they do have a durability that's currently costing me about 25 dollars and then the next expense that you would have is if you want to level up your shoes so the higher you level up your shoes the more gst you earn per day so that all has different costs depending you know what level that you're at and what level you're leveling up to so we will touch on all of those so Stepin recently raised five million dollars in a seed round funding from sequoia capital folius ventures and other leading web3 investors so I'm sure the majority of you have at least heard of Sequoia Capital before. So the goal of Stepin is to motivate millions of people to live a healthier and more active lifestyle. It's also going to use its incentives to onboard people onto Web3 and it wants to combat climate change. They will do this by spending half of their profits on carbon offsets. So the first questions that probably pop up is who exactly is paying these rewards out and is it sustainable? long term we all know what happened with axie infinity's coin and don't want to see this happen again now while the game has many nuances and functionality this video will focus only on the most important gameplay mechanics and value drivers for a more detailed breakdown you could definitely check out their white paper so let's talk about gameplay to get started with Stepin, the first thing you need to do is download the Stepin application from the App Store. Once you do that, you need to create an account, but to create an account, you need an activation code. In order to get an activation code, someone needs to share with you one of their activation codes. You can also try going to their Discord and going to the activation code channel and typing in code, but I don't think this is working currently. So if someone has an extra activation code, drop it in the comments to help someone else so once you sign up and you finally have access to the app the next thing that you have to do is open up your wallet and you need to transfer over Solana to get to your wallet you simply hit on the top right the thing that looks like a wallet then you hit wallet and this is what your wallet will look like so you have your address right here so you need to copy this address and that's where you send your Solana. You can also hit receive and the address for your wallet will pop up there as well. You can just copy your address. Once you send over your Solana, it should pop up here under Soul. And basically what you have to do at that point is transfer from your wallet 
to your spending. So you do that simply by hitting transfer and hit to spending. And in here you're going to transfer the amount that you want. Once you've done that, then in your spending account, you will see that you have some soul. So now you're ready to buy your first shoe. So on the bottom right, you'll see the little cart. And if you hit that, then the marketplace pops up. You might have to click where it says filter and click on sneakers. You can play around with the other filters if you want, but for now, we're only going to look at the floor price sneakers. Hit confirm and the sneakers should pop up. You'll see currently that the floor price is at 10.14999 sold. At Solano's current price, that's about $1,200. So in order to start earning, you must buy a sneaker. Once you buy your sneaker, it will pop up like this, right where if you click on that shoe, these are my current sneakers and I'll talk about more why I have four. You can open up your sneakers and you can see the different attributes that each of your sneakers has. You can also level up, repair it, mint, sell, lease, and transfer. So if you're ready to run, you're gonna hit the little guy running all the way on the left, and you're going to see this right here. You should see your sneaker there, and you should see the start button. Another thing you will notice is that it says next refill in three hours and 39 minutes. And what that is, is how much energy you have and how often it's going to be refilled. So if you have energy and you're ready to get started running, you just hit start, you have a countdown, and then you could start moving. You can see that it shows the exact speed that I'm moving and it tells you what speed I must move at in order to earn tokens. So for this current shoe, I need to move between four to 10 kilometers per hour in order to earn tokens. So on their website, you can see that it breaks down how each shoe works. So with a walker, you need to move between one to six kilometers per hour. And for every one energy that you spend, you earn about four tokens. Now you're probably wondering what does one energy means? Each energy represents five minutes. So you start with a base of two energy, meaning you have 10 minutes every 24 hours to earn tokens. Next, you see the jogger here. You need to be moving between four to 10 kilometers per hour. This is the one that I use that I prefer. And for every one energy, you earn on average around five tokens. And this is, of course, the base earnings as you upgrade and level up the shoe, then those earnings go up higher. Now, if you get a runner, and these are actually the cheapest shoes, but they also earn you the most amount of tokens per energy. So for every one energy, you earn six tokens. Now, why are these cheaper? Because people rather walk or jog then run. And then the last one is a trainer. The cool thing about the trainer, you could either walk or you could run as fast as you want. And for every one energy, you're earning between four to six. So I already went over on how to find a sneaker in the app. Next, let's get into the sneaker detail page. So each sneaker is unique and has four main attributes. Efficiency, luck, comfort, and resilience. All of these directly impact your sneakers earning potential. You can see that the sneakers also have different qualities. So there's common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Depending which one you choose is going to vary in the price. So the floor for commons right now are around 10 sol, while the floor for a rare right now is around 150 sol, for example. So looking back at the attributes, you'll notice that efficiency directly enhances the GST that you earn while moving. Luck enhances the mystery box drop rate. So while you're running, you can get some mystery box dropped that then you open up and usually they have these gems inside. The way that the game is right now, I would tell you do not use luck and do not open them because it's just not worth it at the moment. Comfort enhances your GMT earning, but this doesn't really matter until level 30. So again, this is not something that I have been fo too focused on. And then the last attribute is resilience, which reduces the repair cost. This will be the second most important attribute of your sneaker. So just keep the those two in mind, efficiency and resilience, those are the two most important attributes for your sneakers that determines how much you're going to earn per day. So talking about repairing, you'll see right here is the durability of your sneaker. So what I personally do after every day, after I uh, complete all my energies and complete all my tokens, I just repair it and then I level it up afterwards. Because the higher the level you are, the higher the repair costs are. Finally, these little sockets here, you can add gems on them and they increase your attributes, but that gets 
important maybe towards the end of the game once you're already a high level in the beginning this really doesn't matter it's not something you should be focused on so you can see here your energy cap that's how much you can move the base one starts at two that's 10 minutes and then in your earning cap as you level up your shoe your earning cap also goes up everything is measured through a gps you must run outdoors it has an anti-cheating system built in you need to be moving at the optimal speed which is within that green bar right there and you need to have a strong gps signal this directly affects your earning so if you have a bad signal or no signal then you're either going to be earning way less or not at all so what can you use the gst that you earn for well the obvious one is you can cash it out however you can also use it to level up your sneakers to make them more efficient so that you can earn more. You can also use it to mint a new sneaker to sell or keep. So in order to mint, you need two sneakers and 200 GST. You can mint yourself a brand new sneaker. Now, an important thing to note is that Steppin does not sell any of the shoes itself. Users can only buy them from other users through the in-app marketplace. Steppen will also soon introduce peer-to-peer -peer renting option to remove the upfront capital requirement and lower user onboarding friction. So as of this moment, you can't use the renting function, but we should be seeing that soon. And what that means is that you'll be able to earn while running without having to buy the NFT yourself upfront if you don't have the capital. You could just rent it off from someone else and then you split the profits. So the game launched with a initial supply of 10,000 sneakers and the total number of shoes in circulation can only be increased by breeding, aka minting new shoes from any two other existing shoes that reach level five or higher. So each new user starts with 10 minutes of revenue generating gameplay. Once your energy is fully depleted, it will get replenished at a rate of 25% for every six hours. So it takes a full 24 hours to get back to 100% of your energy. Now this part's important. The only way to increase your energy is to have more shoes. So you can do this either by buying or minting new shoes. The maximum cap is 100 minutes of continuous move to earn time. So you can see this breakdown from their white paper. One sneaker gives you two energy, which is worth 10 minutes. Three sneakers gets you four energy, which is worth 20 minutes. So if you have two sneakers, you still only have two energy and 10 minutes. You need to have three sneakers in order to double up your energy and time. That's why I'm currently at four sneakers and I'm working my way up to this one right here, which is nine sneakers. You get nine energy and 45 minutes. So because I have an uncommon sneaker, it also gives me a plus one on top of whatever these numbers are. So for example, with my three sneakers, I currently have five energy because it's four plus one. So at nine sneakers, if I only have one uncommon sneaker, then I will have that nine plus one, which will give me a total of 10 energy and 50 minutes. If I just had nine common sneakers, I would have then nine energy, 45 minutes. So at 15 sneakers, you get 12 energy and 60 minutes. And finally at 30 sneakers, you would hit the max, which is 20 energy and 100 minutes per 24 hours. So in total, there are three primary sources of income available in Steppen's economy. The first one is of course, you earn GST through your daily exercise. The second one is breeding shoes. So you get your two shoes, you breed them and you get another shoe. Now you can get that shoe and sell it in the market for a profit. The third way is to stake GMT. So GMT is a governance token of Steppin. By staking GMT, you can receive a portion of the game's profits. So here's a basic graph with some simplified calculations of potential returns that a Steppin user can expect to earn. Now these numbers are a little outdated because when these were calculated GST was at 225 so we can basically double all of these numbers to be closer to where the GST price is currently at right now which is at five dollars and 47 cents so you can see here that the monthly ROI on three shoes was around 38 dollars back then so that would make it around 74 over 74 dollars right now if you're at three shoes probably closer to that 100 mark and if you're at one shoe, you're probably around that $40 to $50 
per day range. So even at 40 to $50 per day, you're still earning over a thousand dollars every month just for walking or running. But you can see how ridiculous it could get as you go towards the end here. This right here, you could pretty much double and a half, right? So this really, this number is really probably closer to around $15,000 per month right now if you have 30 shoes. And if you have uncommon or rare sneakers, then that number goes up even higher. And of course, as explained earlier, you can enhance these returns by leveling up your shoes. Also by using different types of shoes, like a runner, remember runners earn more than joggers, or having a higher quality shoe. For example, I use an uncommon shoe which earns me more than a common shoe. So now, of course, these returns are all dependent on the value fluctuation of the GST tokens. So let's take a look at the business model and tokenomics of Steppen. Steppen's business model and tokenomics are very similar to the likes of Axie Infinity. If you don't know what Axie Infinity is, it was the first play to earn breakthrough game that reached massive scale of millions of daily active users and it generated billions in revenue. So at the moment, GST is the only native token available within the game and it closely resembles Axie Infinity's in-game currency SLP. It has an uncapped total token supply. The current circulating supply is almost at 4 million and its current market cap sits at 21 million. GST is used as a medium of exchange to pay out the user rewards. So this results in an inflation. However, you can use those tokens also to breed and level up your shoes, which results in token burn or deflation. Because the total shoe supply can only be increased through breeding, that actually means that as this platform gets more popular, more shoes are probably going to be created, meaning that more GST is going to be burned. So the issue becomes when the user growth begins to decline. That means that demand for new sneakers will decrease, removing the deflationary pressure on the GST supply. And we know what happens with inflationary tokens. Eventually, they will crash. So these are all things that the team will have to solve. And I think that this team probably is learning from Axie Infinity and their mistakes. So hopefully they continue to introduce more and more fun and clever ways to burn GST to keep it from being inflationary. For now, the game's primary burning mechanism includes shoe breeding, upgrades, and recurring shoe repairs. These burning mechanisms should provide ample runway for the step-in team to figure out the new use cases for its GST token. So now the next thing that we're looking at is GMT. GMT will be Steppin's governance token and the primary mechanism for value capture within Steppin's business model. You can basically compare this one to Axie Infinity's AXS token. Now, unlike traditional games, Steppin does not sell anything to its users. Instead, Steppin's revenues are derived from a small tax that is applied on shoe minting, shoe trading, and shoe rentals. This tax ranges between 4 to 8% depending on the type of activity. A small portion of the revenue will be used to cover Steppin's overhead and operating costs and the vast majority will be allocated towards dividend distribution to staked GMT token holders and carbon offsets. Now with GMT, they will have a fixed supply of 6 billion tokens of which 30% will be released as in in-game rewards alongside GST over many years subject to a predetermined schedule. Now, very importantly, Steppen's team will own 19% of the total supply, which will also be released gradually over time. This, of course, ensures that the team's incentives are aligned with the game's long-term success. GMT will also double as a utility token similar to GST and will be used in shoe minting, shoe upgrades, customization, as well as governance participation, driving in-game demand for the token. As of now, sneakers are currently priced in Seoul. However, it is expected for Steppin to switch over to GMT-based pricing. This, of course, creates additional demand for GMT token as new users enter the game and buy or rent their first sneakers. 
This links the demand for new sneakers with the demand for GMT. So it is important to note that for any game to have long-term success, it also has to be fun. I've been using the app for about a month now and I can tell you it is definitely addicting to see rewards coming in just for me walking. So recently I've been jogging and walking every single day. I used to just order DoorDash for lunch every single day. Now I find myself walking over to the restaurant and back just so that it pays for my food plus I make a profit and I'm constantly leveling up my shoes and I wanna get them to the highest levels to earn the most potential GST possible. The hype is definitely building around this project. I know that its Discord server has over 100,000 people in it already. I think that the Step In app already reached over 1 million people. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's the number that I saw recently. Management is introducing new features like uh, marathon leaderboards as well as being able to rent out your sneakers. And just imagine the potential partnerships in the fitness space. Imagine Nike or Adidas having their own Nike or Adidas shoes within the game. So I think the sponsorship opportunities for this app and for this project are endless in fitness by the way they already have the vp at adidas as one of the team's advisors so that adidas partnership is inevitable so this is definitely one of my favorite projects out right now where you can earn by going outside and exercising it is also helping people get onboarded onto web 3.0 as well as lowering our planet's carbon footprint so is there risk in this project of course guys we're in crypto all of this is a risk. If not, it wouldn't be called an investment. So it's up to you. Do your own research. Make sure to go into their website, read their white paper, check out their team, and decide if this is something that you want to get into and you want to do. I personally have hated running all my life, and this has helped me to do it constantly every single day. Maybe if I'm not running every day, I'm at least power walking every single day to make sure that I stay between that four to 10 kilometers per hour to earn my $200 per day. Now, with all that being said, if you guys wanna know about all of these projects when they're still cheap and when I first initially get into them, then you need to get into my mentorship program. In my mentorship program, I post the new project as soon as I get into them and I vet them. So no rug pulls, no Hail Marys. I do the work and post it in the Discord. In addition to that, I share every single trade that I take every single day with my complete trading plan, entry, stop loss, take profit, all of it. I teach you guys how to trade using leverage to maximize your capital. I teach you how to use the correct position sizing and risk levels for your capital so that you guys never have to worry about blowing up your account again. In addition to that, I also post passive income opportunities. I post NFT projects, play to earn opportunities, and much, much more. Now, there are limited spots for this group because there's so many people that are trying to get in, but there's only so much time and so many people that I can work with at one time. So if you guys are interested, make sure to click the link in the description below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity to change your life. I went from a broke failed artist to a regular nine to five working job to retiring in 2017 because of crypto. It changed my life and I know it can change yours as well, but these opportunities will not last forever. So please, if you're interested in joining the trading mentorship group, sign up in the link in the description below. If not, then I strongly suggest that you check out the next two videos that come up on the screen because those are the videos that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will catch you on the next one. As always, peace and love.